welcome to Make and Take Crafts week four. This week we are going to make a paper plate crab. As you can see, I have all of my pieces cut out already. So you can cut out your pieces or you can have a parent cut them out for you. You're going to cut out the head and all the claws. And I think it's easiest to glue the pieces on the top rim of the plate first before you start decorating. But you can do it if you want to paint it and you're afraid you're going to get paint on, on there. You can always do it afterwards, but the hardest part, of course, is waiting for the paint to dry. You have to flip the plate over. So as soon as we get done gluing, and I'm going to put a little tape on for reinforcement, then we get to do the best part, decorating the plate. Just in case you haven't picked up a craft at the library yet, you can go in through Evans and sign up for the day that you want to come to the library and pick it up and just put how many craft kits you need. And we have this in so many different colors. We have red, yellow, blue. So it'll be a surprise when you come to the library and pick it up. All right, now let's flip it over and it's ready to decorate. I've decided to use some purple paint that I had lying around the house. And you can use whatever you have. If you have crayons, markers, colored pencils, maybe you have some old craft paint too. And just paint the whole plate. Try to get it all the way to the edges. And you can just do a real quick painting because of course we're gonna decorate it. And for the decorations too, use whatever you have around the house. This part is not included in the kit. I happen to have some old sequins. Pick anything shiny that you have, maybe some old buttons or some pretend dress up jewelry, or maybe you have some of the tissue paper or paper squares from one of the other weeks of crafts. Always save all of your scraps every week because you never know when you might want to add something extra on. Okay, I think the paint looks pretty good. There we go. Perfect. Now let's add the shiny. I'm going to put on my little sequins for a special touch because you can't have a crab shell without that nice shiny coating. Let's have some fun with it. And Another idea, I'd take a little hole puncher. Use that scrap paper. Don't throw that paper out. Let's use it. With all of your leftovers, use one of the bags from another craft and put all of your scraps together. That way you can make each craft unique. You can always send me your pictures. I miss seeing everybody, so you can send me your finished craft project. Maybe we'll put it on Instagram. There we go. Just push them down. If you use markers or crayons, use a little glue stick to put your final details on. And there you have it. Paper, plate, crab. Finished. Hope to see you soon.